Right, well, I, I'm Keith Salmon. Um, I'm just coming up to my 52nd year, um, and I'm a, a painter, basically. When I was first told that my sight was failing, um, and, you know, I've worked as, a, as an artist all my life, uh, it, was, it was quite a difficult thing to come to terms with. I thought, well, you know, you could be very negative about it and say, well, I can't, how can I be an artist if I can't really see? And then I thought, well, no, the other, the other way to look at it is to, to try and think, well, what are the positive sides? Um, and there are a lot of positive sides <laughs> to not being able to see very well. Um, and one of them um, is the fact that I can't really see any detail. Um, I, when I'm in the landscape, I, I see uh, very much in terms of, of, of the large structures, the patterns, um, the, the, the big contrast, the, the changing weather, but I don't really see the detail. The, 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 the situation is that I, I, I have the, the, the limited bit of sight that I have, and so I, I sort of make the most that I, I can out of it. I've got a big selection of music here, and I've got my talking book here, and the radio, and, and lots of coffee. I'm always drinking coffee. It's, it's sort of constant sort of supply of coffee on the go in the studio. I, I tend to sit around, you've probably noticed I've got a rocking chair in here, and I, I tend to be sat around perhaps for an hour or so in the morning, not actually painting, but just looking um, and thinking about what I'm going to do later. I like to think that the paintings, um, uh, the, the better paintings are good paintings because they're good paintings, not because I can see a certain amount or I can't see a certain amount. Um, uh, it's it's they are as they are because of that sight thing, but it's not a, a you know, a definite sort of um, uh, issue. So I, I like to think the work, um, yeah, just stands up on its own. I don't think the sight thing is really that big a um, uh, problem, but it, it, it's, it's, it's obviously, a, it is a, it's an important part of what I do. Yeah. I see um, colours... Um, perhaps slightly more subdued than, than most people do. My, my sight is such that um, uh, it's, uh, it's a bit like looking through a, a, a fog. Um, but the, the, the colours in the highlands are incredibly intense. They're, they are very, very bright. Um, uh, but they're, they're, they tend to be um, very sort of earthy, very natural colours. Um, uh, and I try and put the colours that... I see how I experience them into my paintings. It's not just a standard landscape kind of view. Um, the paintings try to c convey a little bit of what, a little bit about what it's like to, to actually be out in these places. But for people who perhaps only do just go drive along the main roads and that, um, uh, sort of hopefully it'll give them a, a, a little bit of a clue as, you know, quite how these mountains are and these glens and these wild places when you get away from the road and, and, and uh, sort of actually get in amongst them. Yeah.